Hello friends, this video on applications of trigonometry part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 5. We'll take one more example. As observed from the top of a 75 meter lighthouse from sea level, the angle of depression of two ships are 30 and 45 degree. One ship is exactly behind another ship. Find distance between the two ships. So let's take this uh, water. Here we have this lighthouse, and there is a ship here, and the other ship is exactly behind the other ship. This ship, this is one more ship. And the question says the angle of depression of the two ships are 30 and 45 degrees. So let's draw a horizontal line here because from the top they are asking for the angle of uh, depression. So see from the top. So from top we got the horizontal line and this angle is uh, uh, 45 degree and this angle is 30 degrees. So this angle is 30, the bigger angle is 45 degree. Correct? What we have to do? We have to find the distance between these two steps. What we can do? We have to make a triangle first. This is a triangle now. Let's name this triangle A, B, C and D. So we have to find this distance C. Correct. And since this angle is 45, this angle will be 45. Why? Thus, this line, the AE line, line AE and uh, BD both are horizontal lines, so they are parallel. And th this angle is 30, so this angle will also be 30 degree. Correct. And the height of the tower is 75 meter given. So, what we can do? We can find this distance d1, we can find this, the whole distance d2. So we can find bc and we can find bd. Why? We have this in this triangle abc, we know this angle, we know this length, we can find those bc. Similarly, in triangle abd, we know this angle, we know this height, we can find bd. So we have bd, we have bc, we can find c. Let's do this. Now, if 45 degrees is the, this angle C is the frame of reference in triangle ABC, you will be right in triangle ABC. If C is the frame of reference, this guy becomes hypotenuse AC. This becomes perpendicular and this becomes space. Since I have to find BC, so I am dealing with P and B under Padri Prashad. Hare Hare Bol. P and B is tan. So I need to find tan angle. So I can say tan 45 degree is equal to P by B. So in this case P is nothing but AB and B is nothing but BC and AB is nothing but 75 and BC is something you have to find and tan 45 is 1. So from this what we get BC is equal to 75 meter. That is my BC. That is done. Correct. Now let's take this triangle ABD. Now we'll take triangle A B, D. Similarly here also if we 30 is the frame of reference, this uh, A, D side becomes hypotenuse, this perpendicular and B, D side becomes base. So again we are dealing with perpendicular and base, so tan theta. So I will say tan theta that is 30 degree is equal to P by B, here perpendicular is nothing but A, B and B is nothing but B, D base. So A, B is nothing but 75 and B, D is something we have to find. And this is nothing but tan 30 that is 1 by root 3. So if you solve this you get BD is equal to 75 root 3. Correct. So if I find to find this distance D, D is nothing but CD and CD is nothing but BD minus BC and that is nothing but 75 root 3 minus 75 and that is nothing but 75 into root 3 minus 1 and the unit is meter and that is the answer. So the distance between two boards is 75 into root 3 minus 1. Very simple. Just draw this triangle. Since you have the triangle, you have the angles, we have one side, you can get the other sides and you can get the CD very easily. The only thing is you have to understand the problem and draw this diagram. If you are able to understand the problem that is, as observed from the top of 75 meter lighthouse. So you take this balloon 
top position from this point you draw angle of dispersion the depression you to this horizontal line you draw this angles and then you will get this figure let's take one more example 1.2 meter tall girl spots a balloon moving with the wind in the horizontal line at the height 88.2 meter from the ground see please note the height of the girl is also given and height of the balloon is also given the angle of elevation of the balloon from eyes of the girl at an any instant is 60 degree after some time the angle of elevation is 30 degree we have to find the distance traveled by balloon during the interval this is the girl whose height is 1.2 cube girl there is a balloon she spots this balloon and currently the balloon is 30 degree elevation sorry 60 degree elevation so this angle is 60 degree now with the wind this balloon will go in this direction so balloon will go in this direction after some time the angle of elevation of this balloon is become 30 degree we have to find the distance traveled by the balloon during its interval. So let's draw the triangle now here. This is the triangle. We have to find this distance. Let's uh, give this name A, B, C, D, E. We have to find this distance. This distance we find. C, D. We have to find C, D. Because the balloon travelled from this point to this point, that is A, and A is equal to C. Correct. So what we can do is we are told that the height of the balloon is 88.2 from the ground. So if you take this point from to here, this height that was F, EF is 88.2. But DF is 1.2, the height of the girl. So this distance will be 88.2 minus 1.2. Because the height of the girl you have to subtract. So this becomes 87. So this point is 87 meter. That is given. B is 87 and this length is also 87. Now it's very simple actually. In this triangle ABC, if you can find this BC, and this triangle EDC, if you can find BD, we have BC, we have BD, we can subtract to get the distance. Correct. So we'll do the same thing. In triangle ABC, if B is the frame of reference, this will be hypotenuse, this will be perpendicular, and this will be base. Correct? I know perpendicular, I know I find base. I am trying to find relation between perpendicular and base. Pandit Badri Prashad, Hare Hare Bol, P and B is tan. So I'll use tan here. So I'll say tan, in this case, angle is 60 degree, is equal to P by B. Here P is AC and B is BC and AC is 87 and BC is we don't know and tan 60 is root 3. So we get BC is equal to 87 by root 3. We can rationalize this by multiplying and dividing by root 3 root 3. So root 3 root 3 is 3. 3 by uh, 87 by 3 is 29. So this becomes 29 root 3. So I got this value. BC is equal to 29 root 3. 29 root 3. This value. Now let me find BD. So we will say in triangle BEC, the bigger triangle, same thing. So we will say tan 30. Why? Because we are dealing with P and B here. So tan 30 will be equal to P by B. Here P is ED and B is BD. Correct. And ED is equal to 87. And BD is something we have to find, and tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So if we solve this, we get BD is equal to 87 root 3. So this BD whole thing is nothing but 87 root 3. So we have to find distance, we have to find D distance, and the distance travel is nothing but CD, and CD is nothing but BD minus BC. You see, CD is nothing but the BD thing minus BC. So we know BD, BD is nothing but 87 root 3 and we know BC that is 29 root 3. Subtract this, this becomes 58 root 3 and that is the unit will be in meter because we are talking about meters, meter.
answer. That means the distance travelled by balloon is 58 root 3 meter in this duration. Because the girl was standing in the same position, so you observe the balloon has changed its angle when the balloon has moved from this position to this position. Early it was 60 degree, then it became 30 degree. So the distance travelled by balloon is 58. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.